So here I'm going to show you how to dual record your Zwift activity into Zwift Power. Um, and I'm primary, my primary recording is using a Wahoo kicker and recording that um, just normal. And then go, my secondary recording would be through a, using my Quark and a Garmin 520. So where you're going to go is back in your um, Zwift profile here under Zwift Power, you're going to click on this analysis tool. And then over here on the right side, you have this create new data set. And we're going to pull an event from a couple days ago that I did. I just haven't, haven't pulled it up. Um, and I think it is, I think it's this event. There's a lot of redundancy built in the top here. So this next one, I should be able to do it. It was, it was on the fourth. So 11 for here, it's this IRC or ICR racing uh, on McCurry Island. So I'm gonna pick that. Um, so I'm gonna grab that event. That will update this up here if you, if you end up making a mistake. And then under choose your power source, the first time you're gonna have to, you do this, you're gonna have to enter this in. So just type in whatever your power source is. So it'll, it'll save it. So I'm using a Wahoo Kicker version five. And then um, we're gonna, there's a little bit of redundancy, like I said here. So we're gonna, we're gonna select the event again. So I'm picking that ride on the fourth. And then for, so that's all of my primary recording using the Wahoo Kicker 5. And then my backup here would be using my Quark. So I'm gonna, I've, I've plugged in my Garmin 520 into the computer using the USB cable. I make sure that I use the Garmin cable because the other ones have problems. So we're gonna choose file here. We're gonna navigate to that. So just navigate to your Garmin and then under the under Garmin Center activities is where those are stored. And then the newest stuff's always at the bottom. So here's the ride from 11.4. So we're gonna go grab that guy. And then the power source, again, the first time you're gonna have to enter this in. So that's gonna be my Quark and 520. So I can just pull that from a drop down list here of where I've entered it. I'd be as clear as possible. Um, and then, I mean, if you had a third or fourth source or whatever, you could you could add those as well. And then I'm gonna make change of visibility here from private to public so that others can see it. And then we're gonna go create data set. And I generally start my Quark a uh, minute or two before I start racing. And so there's gonna be some shift in our data recording. And then I also ride out after you know, on the, on the Wahoo. So we're going to have to do this time shift and crop. So you have to probably write some things down, but basically this, this spike here should coincide with this spike. And uh, so the, the purple data is the Wahoo, the blue data is the Quark data. And that's what's showing up over here in the, in the corner. So we're going to go time shift and crop. And then this, this so the first thing I generally do is is the offset. So figure out what the offset distance is. It looks like usually I can go from peak to peak. So that's at 656 seconds. And this one is 837. So 837 minus, what did I say? Six, 656. Is this 181 seconds? So we're gonna we're gonna offset the quark by 181 seconds. So that gets our data to align quite quite good. And then the other thing we're gonna do now is we want to get rid of. So we need to change the the quark here in terms of the start time. And so that looks like it's about. 270. I think that's going to be wrong, but because we've offset it. So we'll just play with it. Yeah, we'll have to get it back here a little bit. So it's probably about 170, and a little bit less than that. Can't remember what that what I said it was in terms of offset. We'll just get it back to where we are close. Mm 
we're getting we're sneaking up on it here essentially I'm out just to past it. So I'm going to get that to where these two endpoints align. And it's probably about 88 seconds or so. Ooh, looks like right about 90. Doesn't much, much matter. Kind of splitting hairs. And then the same thing here in that we're going to separate this. So wherever it ended here on our on our Wahoo, so it was 1342 seconds. Um, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to subtract that back on the Wahoo. Uh, so we want to end that Wahoo at 1344. Because that was essentially the end of the race. So that ends the Wahoo over here. And then the quark, uh, the quark was we, we just carried it very close to the end there. So Quark was running at just about the same amount of watts. So I'm I'm pretty happy with that. There's there's usually the my Quark usually lags a little bit behind um the watts, especially when I stop pedaling. So this ride I had a the power actually went out. And so the ride is essentially just it went away as the power reset. So I had a significant power drop, which I think is about right here. Um, anyway, so then we're going to go save. So we got the data to look pretty darn good. We're going to hit save. And then you can compare and contrast. Usually my Quark runs a little bit higher watts. And I think that's mainly due to just drivetrain. And then for heart rate, I'm just I'm just single recording with my uh, with Wahoo. So then you, once you've once you've created that, you're good to go. And you can just go back to your Zwift profile. And then that ride will be uploaded into your analysis. And it will generally show up here, um, something like that. So we can click back on that guy. Oh, this is a previous ride or a ride I did today earlier. So yeah, that's how it's done. Hopefully that helps.